what's up? This is your love reading for January 1st through the 7th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Since this is a love reading, I do recommend checking your Moon and Venus signs as well as they may resonate better for you than your Sun sign when it comes to a love reading. As always, this isn't going to resonate for every Taurus out there. It's not possible. You're not all living the same lives. If it doesn't resonate, don't try to force it to. Just check out your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers on here. All right, here we go, Taurus. So the overall energy for me as a reader is always the person that I'm reading for, whether that's you, Taurus, or you, Crosswatcher. This will be the energy that you're taking on this week in love. Everything else here is interchangeable. It can be for you or the person that you're dealing with, all right? All right, so you're overall from the Magdalene Oracle. You have the judgment. All right, guys, the judgment. Love and accept all of who you are as you are. Every trait serves a purpose, and until you see the light within you, you will not see the light in others. How you feel about the world around you is a reflection of how you feel about yourself. Everything you see in others reflects something in you. You draw people, situations, and events into your life that reflect what you are yet to love about yourself. As you journey through life, you grow in wisdom, and eventually you will realize that many of your perceptions of good and bad of right and wrong were simply illusions. All right, guys, who you judging? <laughs> All right, here we go. So your tarot for your overall is the Four of Swords reverse. So um, you may need to take a time out and you're not doing it. You may need to just take a break to heal from something minor, not anything crazy. Um, it just might, you just might need to take some time for yourself. Um, but you're not. It's like you're just going and going and not stopping and you probably need to just take a little break. Okay? All right. Let's clarify that and then we will move on. Clarify the Four of Swords reversed. It could also just be that you are actually healing from something. Um, I don't think so though with judgment there. I think it's just you need to take a time out. Oh shit guys. So you have judgment, right, from the Magdalene Oracle. Obviously, it's Oracle. It's not Tarot, but it's still the judgment. Look at your fucking Tarot for your overall. You have judgment reversed. So, there's you guys are having some issues here. Um, you're having some issues looking at a situation um, for what it is. Like, you're not it's like you're really back and forth and I think that it's because you're not like setting time aside to think about the situation and look at it clearly you can't you're like you have judgment upright and judgment reversed as your overall energy like what the hell guys <laughs> that's like some crazy shit um judgment reverse can also be like a past issue coming back up something that you thought was done it was over with something that you didn't think that you were going to have to deal with again and now it's coming up to be like reevaluated. Um so it, just keep an eye on your judgment. Pay attention to whatever it is. If you're being judgmental or if you're just not judging a situation properly, make sure you're using good judgment, using good discernment, seeing shit for what it is and if you're not seeing shit clearly it's because you need to set some time aside for yourself to process you know what i mean jelly bean okay your recent past you have the six of swords this is air energy gemini libra aquarius doesn't have to mean anything but it is leaving a situation that is challenging so either you or someone recently left a situation because it was too challenging um it, there was just too much too much bullshit you know um and with judgment reverse up here in your overall it could be if you just left a relationship, it could be popping back up to just be looked at again, all right? You're present. You have the Two of Pentacles. This is your energy as well as Virgo and Capricorn. It's juggling. Um, whether this is you or the other person, it could be juggling between two people. It doesn't have to be, though. Um, it could just mean that you're juggling a lot of responsibilities in your life, okay? Okay. Um, We'll find out, though. Clarify the Two of Pentacles for Taurus. The Six of Pentacles. All right, so check it out. 
Six of Pentacles is balance. It's equal give and take. It's you and the other person are putting in the same amount of time, effort, energy, whatever. Um, this It's balance. Everything's balanced. Two of Pentacles is about balance. Um, it's about trying to keep everything in balance. So right now, you are, or they are, but I would just be mindful because when you're juggling a bunch of shit, whether it's just a bunch of responsibilities or two different people, you can only do that for so long before something gets dropped, okay? Now look at your future though, guys. The fucking sun. Yay, it's the happiest little card in the deck. It's clarity. It's everything that you would want your future to look like, okay? Um, it can also mean the birth of a child. All right, clarify the sun for Taurus in the future. And this is the immediate future, by the way. It's only a week long reading, so it's not like 10 years from now or anything. Clarify the sun for Taurus in love. Clarify the sun for Taurus. The three of wands reverse. Hmm, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So that's like, it's an energy of kind of like waiting around for something to happen and it's not happening it's you don't see a future with a certain situation so you may have there may have been a situation that you were in that you felt like you know you were working towards something and then it just you didn't see it going anywhere you didn't see anything happen with it and so now you have this clarity on the situation that wow you know that really isn't going anywhere um Huh. All right, let's see what your obstacles are, guys. So your first obstacle, you have the King of Wands. That's fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So there may be a fire sign that is problematic in your relationship. If not, though, as an obstacle, because the King of Wands upright is a good card. So as an obstacle, if it's not an actual other person for you, um, it's just the need for more passion, more energy, more drive you know, really like going after what you want, okay? All right, clarify the King of Wands as an obstacle for Taurus. Clarify the King of Wands as an obstacle for Taurus. Oh, Three of Swords, fuck. <laughs> All right, guys, so obviously Three of Swords is heartbreak, it's betrayal. Um, obviously it can be a potential third party situation. There's three swords in the heart here. Um, so it could be somebody has something going on with a fire sign. Um, definitely a possibility with the two of pentacles here in your present as well. Somebody could be juggling between you and a fire sign, or you could be doing that. Um, and that would be why you have this four of swords reverse in your overall as well because there there is this this heartbreak this betrayal as an obstacle and you yourself are not taking time to heal from it okay um okay <laughs> this one this is going to be crazy now when I show you what your advice is like this whole fucking reading is I swear it's crazy um your advice, you have karma. This is the same exact card as judgment. You have judgment three fucking times in the same reading. Like, shit, guys. You need to really make sure you're paying attention. For real, for real. Like, pay attention. Watch, like... Make sure you're not judging someone harshly if they don't deserve it. But make sure that you're not blind either make sure you're seeing a situation for what it is okay um because there's something going on here with you needing to really see a situation clearly and use your discernment use your good judgment if this is something from the past um pay attention to what happened in the past do you know what i mean all right let's clarify it because it's something it's like a karmic connection, you know? That, like there's some karma that needs resolved here and that's why it's coming back up, whether it's for you or them. Clarify karma 
for Taurus. The world. You. <laughs> Something is coming back up because it's not done. It's not over. It's not closed out. The world is the need to close out a cycle um, so that you can elevate to the next cycle in your life. All right. And if there's something in your life that's unresolved, that's unfinished, where there was no closure, at some point in your life, it's going to come back up to be resolved, whether it's with the same person or with another person. That's the way that it works. That's the way that karma works. It doesn't always happen with, you know, the same person that you had the issue with. It might come out in, in a future person or relationship or whatever, but if it's unresolved, it's going to come back up in the future. That's, I mean, that's the whole point, right? It's just, it's lessons. And if you don't learn it, learn it the first time, you're going to have to repeat it until you do learn it. So just really pay attention to what's going on in your love life and the people in it, whatever. Um, sorry guys, my hair is like really getting on my damn nerves throughout this whole reading. Um, so yeah, judgment. <laughs> That's your um, theme this week in love. Judgment and balance. Okay? All right. Take care, guys.